astonishing yet. No mention, Steve, of John Conte. Well, you, you know what? John Conte. Really? What a fighter. It, Arguably the greatest British fighter that we've ever had. Mm. De definitely didn't realise his potential. Yeah. What, a, what a fighter. But he realised how much fun you could have being a good-looking athlete <laughs> in the 70s. <laughs> he sure, he, he sure did more, that. And, 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 and I'll be honest with you. If he'd have knuckled down, if he'd have had that gene, the gene that Barry had to lock himself away in, in austere surroundings uh, out, out in, in Ireland, or if he'd have had the gene that Joe Kawasaki's got to lock himself away in the drizzle of the Welsh valleys, then I'm telling you that we wouldn't have had any problem sticking John Conti in that five and closer to the top, Paul. Truth to tell, all of that did curtail his success. He'd actually won and lost the world light heavyweight title as we pick up the action as he meets Matthew Saad Mohammed here in a bid to regain it, the year was 1979. Two rounds to go then, he's six minutes away from a very good shot at regaining this title. Britain incidentally, Already got two world champions, as you know, uh, Jim Watt at lightweight and Morris Hope at uh, light middleweight. Britain has never had three at the same time, that is. with the left jab as Muhammad tries to deliver the right hook. Conti beats him to the punch before the right hook can come over. Quite delightful. He's got to make sure of these last two rounds. I'm sure he's got to do that. Strange things happen with decisions sometimes in the state. Boxing abroad is a difficult business. He's trying to set up Conti for the right hand. Conti's got to be careful. And they're becoming long three minutes now for John. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's down. Will he get up? Will he get up? He's up. But it was a combination that did it. We'll no doubt see it again in due course. But that was the danger. This man can take you out with one hand. He'll be encouraged by that. What a disaster for Conti. Fourteenth round, Conti still wobbly it seems to me. He's got to hang on now. He's got to hang on in this and win the fifteenth. The judges will be influenced by that, he's down again. And that really didn't seem a heavy punch. He was surely still affected by the previous punch. He's up on one knee, I wonder if his head's clear. He's up. The referee is asking him, is he okay? Conti says yes. There goes the bell. And the bell, I think, might well have saved him there. It came just in time. And now he's got the minute respite. And does he need it? This is the one that did it. A left hook followed up by another short left hand. But it was the first of those left hands that did the damage. The follow-up left hook just made sure. And now, well, it really is in the balance. Mohammed won that so clearly that he might have made up two rounds there. And Conti now looks composed. And here we see it again. Two left-hand punches, a hook followed up by a kind of half hook. And Conti didn't know where he was. He seemed to have recovered then, but then later on, the punch was still affecting him. 
when a follow-up came from Franklin because the later punch that happened about 40 seconds later wasn't really a telling one or shouldn't have been now Monty's really got to win this round and Franklin will be going for the kill Monty won for the head that's the first time he was worn for the head damage to Franklin's eyes on very early in the fight. Conti got a snick now. Don't think it really matters at this stage, he's just got to survive. Snick by his right eye, doesn't matter. He's got to survive now. And if he can edge Mohammed out of this last round, he may still be in with a chance of regaining the title. But it depends how the referee and the judges, how their minds work about that disastrous 14th round. World Championship fight last 15 rounds. You can't count your eggs in round 10 or round 11. They go on. Monty trying to throw his own right hand now. He's got to stay away from the big punch in this round. Got caught again. Gotta hang on in there. Oh! Hang on in, John. You can see the blood coming from Conti's right eye, but it doesn't matter. It might have mattered early on. Encouragement from George Francis in Conti's corner. Well, if Conti doesn't get this, you can't say he hasn't put up an absolutely marvellous show. Not many people gave him a price here, and now look at him coming back after that disastrous 14. If you're just tuning in, Conti took two counts in round 14, got caught with two good left-hand punches, went down, took half a round to recover from them. The bell saved him, really. Oh, he's rocking again from a right hand, and again, it wasn't a big one. And this was one of the questions we raised early on. Has Conti's ability to really take a punch gone? He's still rocking. That can't be long left. There goes the bell. What a marvellous contest. For the light heavyweight championship of the world, we now have to await the decision of the referee, Carlos Padilla, you see in the left-hand corner there, and the two judges. I think just the evidence of the last couple of rounds that we saw there, uh, we know the rest for Conti, don't we? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that, I mean, I haven't got the absolute stats in front of me, but I think if that was a modern fight, after 12 rounds, Conti regains the title, which was taken from him outside the ring. Won the title, three defences, has it stripped from him. Goes out to, we were talking about this earlier, goes out to Belgrade, Serbia, to or, or, or Yugoslavia as it was then, to fight Matty Parlov, who got a gold, I think, in 1972. And as Barry reminded me, Parlov came out with these fake, basically, just these prosthetics across his eyes to stop him cutting. It was unbelievably illegal. And John lost there on points 50. Was, there wasn't a lot in that. Fights, fights, fights Al Mohammed a couple of years later. And after that fight, four or five months later, he goes back, mm -hmm. where he's also, where he stopped that time in four rounds. And, and I've gone on a about this for the last about 15 years I'm convinced that John Conti with a little bit of conviction a little bit of different people around him let's put it that way I think he could have been an all-time great I'm absolutely convinced of it